Right, hello everyone, I'm back, I know it's been a couple of weeks, and I know I said I was going to do a video, but I'm very sorry, but I've been in between moving back from uni to my uh, to my house, so the whole last week I didn't have time to record, I didn't have um, my mic or my laptop to record with, so sorry about that, but look at the video today, best F1 fantasy team for the next race, which is going to be in Spain, but before we get onto all that juicy good stuff, I have got a story to tell you for the review of the Miami Grand Prix and my god so picture this me Zach F1 at my mate's house his name is Sean but his YouTube channel is called Saberscope go check him out I'll put his link in the description but anyway I'm at his house with a couple of mates I'm drinking you know it's a Saturday as you do I'm watching the football and then I'm checking every half an hour F1 Fantasy because I'm still 0.2 mil of building my team that I wanted from last week and oh my god doing this while drunk I was shitting myself that I was going to miss the deadline but I kid you not 10 seconds no sorry not 10 seconds fucking <laughs> 10 minutes before the deadline I check my team and I can just afford it. My God, let I don't have any recording of it because I was obviously drinking and I was doing it on my phone. But I just when I tell you, I was so happy that it worked out because I was saying this is my favorite team and this team fucking banged, which you're about to see right now. So let's fucking get onto it. Right, so first off, as you can see, my team, I did get the Kler, Verstappen, Bottas, Albon, Magnussen and Red Bull. Now, Leclerc, second place turbo driver, 100 points, banged it. I'm so happy with that. I didn't know who I wanted to win, Verstappen or Leclerc, but I think it worked out better for me like this because Verstappen, 56 points, win. Oh my God, I was so happy just with Verstappen and Leclerc because I took out Sainz and Perez because I was like, they ain't doing it. And what did they do? They didn't do it at all. And then Bottas, of course, easy. He always beats Grand New Show. You've got to have Bottas in your team. I'm telling you, you lot. Albon, again, always beats Latifi. And because he's so low paying, it doesn't matter how many points Albon gets. He's always going to get like the extra teammate points and the extra points gained in the race. And then you got Magnussen, the only person who kind of fucked up for me. But I told you, Red Bull was definitely the way to go, as you can see, with Red Bull's price going up. So everyone, get Red Bull in your team. Same with Leclerc. If you haven't got Leclerc in your team, you're crazy. You're bloody crazy. But everyone in my team is positive. Literally, I've picked everyone who is positive at the moment. Because for some reason, all the drivers are just like... Zoop. Everyone's going down in price apart from everyone I've got which is perfect. Like look at how much my team cost 104.2 million That is insane to have 4.2 million wildcard came in clutch for me and here as you can see I was trying to think oh is there anyone else who's gonna get me more points and this is where I realized I've already got Basically the best team because no one in my team is going down in points like um, 0 0.1 mil everyone's going up so Literally, uh, if you cannot, if you can afford this team, get Leclerc, Verstappen, Bottas, Albon, Magnussen, Red Bull. If not, I would suggest Leclerc, Verstappen, uh, Ferrari, and then um, getting Sainz or Perez with that, and then Bottas and Magnussen. But those two teams are the way to go, I promise you. Like, this game week, I got 262 points, the most I've ever had before, and... I'll show you with the stats because you're about to see it really helped me with the standings and also I'm gonna do team two first this game week because I'm actually taking team two serious because this is my highest paying team but as you can see I show you that if you don't have enough for the budget of Red Bull Ferrari is still fine to get for now but I go for McLaren now this seems like a weird choice but don't worry and this time even though I said it last time I will be making a video because I've got so much spare time now that uni's over. Um, I'm going to be bringing in McLaren just so I can get an extra few mil in the bank so that I can then afford Red Bull later on. But that's pretty much it for team one and team two. Those are my options. I, this is, I highly rate them both. I'll be doing team three after because team three's, like, I don't really give a shit. Not going to lie about team three. But let's go on to look at my games. And first of all, ooh, what's that? What's that? Top 38.2k. I jumped 40k this game week. Then top 1000 in F1 YouTube Official League. Tomo's League. 
271st place. Very happy with that. And then in my own 22nd. And thank you all for joining. 115 of you. That's insane. I can't get round. The code's up top. Link in the description always. And remember, 100 quid to whoever wins the championship. And at the minute, because I haven't looked at it for a while, I forgot Leo A taken over the lead. Like, congratulations, you get the pin of champions today. Like, you did Mega Driver, you Mega Driver for Stappen, which was very good on you, well done. That team looks amazing, by the way. The only problem I think in it is Alonso, but what, who, well, who can I say anything when you're in the lead? But well done. You get my pin of champions, and of course, I'm also gonna give a pin of champions to, sorry if I mispronounced this, but DNP, your team, fantastic. You haven't Mega Driver yet, you get pinner champions as well. I always do two pinner champions now, one for no mega driver and one for who has mega driver. But well done to all of you. Like, I'm so happy this is going well. Like, I still can't go over 115. Like, and then I'm just looking through all of the mega driver people who haven't used it because they're insane. Like, because mainly the top 20 at the minute. Oh, big up to my mate Michael F. Always in the comments. Um, big up. Everyone who hasn't used Mega Driver yet in the top 20, you're doing bits. And like, I've jumped, I think I was 32nd last game week, so I've jumped 10 people this game week with 262. Like, oh my god, what a game week I had. I still, I don't want to jinx it because people probably have had a higher score than me, but I haven't seen a higher score than me yet so far. But comment if you got higher or show me if you did. And also, pin of shame. Look who's not on it anymore. My man managed team moving up in the world. And yes, I know it's a bit bittersweet because the person who does get the pin of shame only joined last week. R, R, W. Keep up the good work. You won't be last for long. Thank you for joining. But I'm going to have to give it to you. That Norris. Ooh. Nat Alpine. But no matter, because you're going to come back stronger than ever. I just know it. But well done, Managed T. You didn't get it. You didn't get a bit of shape. And I knew you wouldn't. I had faith in you for so long. But yeah, here's my game week points so far. I'm on 1,100 points. Very happy with that. And yeah, there is not much else to say. Team 1 and Team 2, I'm very happy with. Team 3, I love saying that it's kind of a lost cause. But even though it's only 25 points behind my actual Zac F1 team. But... Again, I'm just going to do what I did with um, Team 2. I'm going to keep everyone who's positive, so I'll keep Red Bull. Uh, signs, already 0.1 mil down, which I was kind of just annoyed about because I didn't see that. But that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on Friday because there will be a video because we're back to the good schedule. And remember to like and subscribe, all my beautiful people.